Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to make beef stew with carrots and potatoes. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Now, let's get started. First we need a, basically a hot pan with olive oil. And uh, we're gonna fry about six pounds, maybe seven pounds of beef. Two inch uh, slices. I'm just gonna char it, okay? So you get that crispy, smoky flavor, if you know what I mean. So after the beef is cooked, we're gonna take the beef and we're gonna place it in a crock pot, okay? So basically, so we can slow cook it and make it nice and soft. Sorry, I just sneezed. Oh, I'm back. So put it in a crock pot, add in some potatoes, just about three large potatoes, place it in the crock pot. I'm just kind of eyeing it. You don't want to put too much because we got to make room, we'll save room for the other vegetables. Now we're gonna add in the carrots, look at that, and then some sweet corn. Yum, yum, yum. Next, we're gonna add a one whole white onion. And I had mushrooms in the fridge, so why not? Add just some mushrooms in. Now I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit before we add the other uh, ingredients. Look at that. Now we're gonna add a uh, half can of tomato paste. Three garlic cloves, three teaspoons of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of black pepper, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and just a teaspoon of chili powder to give it a little kick. A teaspoon of salt. Uh, one beef bouillon cube and one cup of beef beef broth okay now we add first cup of uh, sweet red wine I'm gonna do another cup at the end okay a sweet red wine is the best if you want to use it dry just make sure you add more brown sugar okay so now we're gonna mix this up there's no really clean way okay I forgot something I forgot uh oh yeah three tablespoons of potato starch. Now mix it up. Mix it the best you can. It's looking good. Now what we're gonna do is add that last cup of uh, red wine. Okay, let it in and let it simmer for about eight hours, okay? It's gonna make that beef nice and soft and soak up all the flavor. Eight hours later, there we have it. This looks amazing. So try it at home. Let, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. But overall, I this turned out really well, to be honest. Tasty. It's off. It just melts in your mouth. Have a great night, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.